Today I'm going to be replacing the diesel fuel filter on the Volvo. I have a, a drip tray there. A replacement diesel fuel filter there. And I've run the fuel level down to around a quarter. It's probably just marginally over, so we'll see how this goes. I put the car on ramps prior to attempting the fuel filter replacement. You will find the fuel filter located on the right side of the car, just around that area underneath where the drip tray is positioned. So this is where the fuel filter lurks underneath the car, you can see uh, I've just loosened the nut so it's dripping ever so slightly. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a 13mm spanner to this. It may be different, it just depends on who makes the filter. And then we're going to gingerly remove the nut and set the filter draining. So I'm catching the bulk of the diesel in the measuring jug and we're going to see if it's clear and hopefully reuse it. I want to do this wasting as little fuel as possible. So with the nut removed we've got a good, a good flow there. We'll just keep an eye on that and see what comes out of it quantity wise. Hopefully I won't have to get another jug. Now we're now reduced to just a drip at just over the half pint mark, so that's good. I think I'll give it a moment just to drip further before removing the filter. I've opted for a, a Hengst filter, I've never had one of these before, but as far as I'm concerned, they're not too far apart and it does have a, a water trap on the bottom. Um, should you need to drain any water off your fuel, I've never had to do that, but it, it is there if you want it. So as the drips have slowed down, I think it's now time to remove the filter. It's just a twist off with a hand. I'm just going to carefully remove it. I don't want it dropping in the diesel. I'm going to keep that nice and clean. And there we go. So the good news is we've got a couple of seals there, they're not up. Um, they've come away with the filter so that's great news. So I'll just give the old filter a good shake and get the last few drips of diesel out. And given that this diesel's generally speaking clear with the exception of a few little tiny particles in the bottom I'm going to pour it into the new filter just around the edges so we keep the fuel filter upright and then screw it on you can actually if you wish um, put some injector cleaner in a in a fuel filter it is a good way of dispensing it to the injectors neatly if you're having troubles that is one tactic that can be employed so it should all fit in by the last few dirty bits so what we want to do is we want to give it a good seal so we've got a, a little pool of diesel there and we'll just go around, you can wear gloves if you wish um, personally I tend to not bother so we've got the seals wet and then we'll just screw that on hand tight what I tend to do, it's a clockwise direction I, I screw it on and when I get near the end I tend to go back and forth it's three steps forward, two back as the uh, infamous song goes so we'll get that fitted and keep it upright because we've filled it with diesel. And that's going on great. So here we are at the three steps forward, two back part. 
and we just finish and get that nice and hand tight. So the car may take a little more cranking than normal just to prime the diesel through. So do make sure you've got a good battery. Many thanks for watching and why not subscribe to uh, learn of more Volvo maintenance solutions.